Hi and welcome back to Sustainable Teacher. If it is your first time here, my name is Leticia and I'm glad to meet you. And if you've been here before, I'm happy to see you again. In today's video, we are going to talk about structures, structures in technology. So we are going to talk about structures in buildings, in constructions, in bridges, these kind of things. If this video sounds interesting to you, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. In a previous video, we talked about forces and load, and I told you that this was related to something that we were going to talk in, a, in another video about structures. So that is that video. So today we are going to talk about what is a structure and what type of structures do we have. One structure is an element or, or group, usually it's a group of element joined with the function of supporting loads, supporting forces and supporting stresses. They should be stable, they cannot collapse, they cannot move, they cannot break down, they cannot fall apart and they should be resistant, they should resist external and also internal stresses, forces and loads. So they cannot be deformable, they should rest, stay in the same shape, in the, with the same conditions and size and everything. So maybe we can say that there are five type of main type of structures. Massive structures or mass structures, which are like structures which are absolutely thick, like all pyramids or all buildings, all castles, all towers. All of these structures or buildings are thick inside. But today, usually we don't use this technique when we build buildings. Usually when our buildings, our houses, our flats or apartments today, have a framed structure. So we have different columns and floors and we are going to do like square sections around the building to make it strong, to avoid it to collapse, but we are using less material than mass structures. Then we have triangulated structures. The, their section is not square, it's a triangle. They can support a lot of weight and they are really strong. Famous cases of this is the, the Eiffel Tower or towers in all fields. It could be in the earth or in the sea. Cranes, all of these structures are made with triangles. Then we have suspended structures. Those are structures that the, the base is not on the floor, but they are hanging. Usually they are bridges or, or shelves. They are hanging from wires, from cables or braces. And these cables or braces are supporting the weight because gravity, of course, is working here. And finally, we have vaulted structures like arts or domes in churches. A good structure should be stable and should support external and internal forces. What happens when this doesn't happen? When it doesn't work? So there is a structural failure. And structural failures usually are due to three main reasons. The first one is material fatigue. That means that the material is so old or weak or the quality is not in good enough to support all the loads, weights, forces or whatever. The second type is rusting or corrosion. It happens in, um, like in wood, in metal, in this kind of materials. It due to atmospheric events like rain, wind, sun, temperature, changes in temperature. These materials can suffer changes in their structure and in the end they will be weaker than expected. And the third case is when we have 
a problem before everything and we talk about this before before starting any kind of project it's so important to make a good design a good project so the thing is that if we, if we fail in this we will have problems in the future the structure won't work as we expected because we didn't design it properly so the third type of error or failure is an incorrect design it's a fine looking oh! okay no big deal uh, uh. Ah! stupid lisa and this is everything for today i hope that now you understand better what is a structure what type of structures do we have and the problem that structures can have leave in the comment if you knew something about this if you ever built a structure in class or in like in your free time as a hobby if you ever realize about the structures in buildings around you in your city or when you visited a monument uh, everything you want to say leave it in the comments and of course See you soon.